I think all of us knew that when Hershey Park started repainting Sidewinder back a few months ago, that we were probably gonna be seeing a Jolly Rancher retheme, but boy is this a lot different than we expected. Not only is Sidewinder being rethemed to Jolly Rancher Remix, but there's also going to be a brand new flat ride from Zamperla being added into this area. So really, what we're looking at here is a whole retheme of Sidewinder's Plaza. And, uh, you know, a lot of people thought that Sidewinder was going to be the first ride to go, maybe even over Wildcat at Hershey Park, but I think this shows that Hershey Park intends on keeping um, what's now going to be known as Jolly Rancher Remix up and running for a little while. So let's talk about a little bit about, uh, go in detail about what, what all this is. As I said previously, Sidewinder is now going to be known as Jolly Rancher Remix, and the Zamperla Flat Ride, which is going to be a Zamperla Nebula, this is going to be known as Mixed. Now before I get into the r details of the retheme for Sidewinder, I gotta say, I think the pick for this Flat Ride is excellent. A lot of enthusiasts have described Zamperla Nebulas as eye candy, and so I think this fits perfectly into the area. It's really going to be the type of thing that people just sit and watch for a long time, and I think a lot of kids are really going to like just sitting and watching it go around. And I believe there had already been some rumors that Hershey Park was going to be receiving a new flat in the area of Sidewinder, as I believe this circular plot in which... Uh, uh, mixed is going to be placed in, was already being built out a few weeks ago. It also looks like there's going to be some really nice Jolly Rancher theming that's going to be on this specific flat ride, which I think is really just going to top it off. Now getting into the re-theme of Sidewinder into Jolly Rancher Remix, first of all, a lot of people were complaining about this color scheme back when they were first putting it on, but quite frankly, I think this looks really good. And actually, what we're going to be looking at here is three different colors that the supports are going to be painted to. The track is going to be this really nice popping green color. Um, it, the front of the supports um, near the cobra roll, that's going to be some really, uh, really nice blue. And then the supports back from there is going to be this really nice purple color. So we're looking at this really vibrant color scheme here. And if it looks anywhere as good as it does in the picture, the repainted track and the repainted trains is going to look really nice here. Now really this is more of a retheme than it is just a repaint and a rename, because there will actually be some changes to the ride experience. Not physically the track or anything, but there will be some alterations to what's actually going to happen through the ride experience. Um, of course, to my knowledge, everything throughout the ride itself will be the same when it comes to how it tracks, but there will be a pretty fun addition in the form of this tunnel you see in the picture, um, right in between uh, part of the Cobra Roll and the loop. In this tunnel, it actually says in the description on the website that there are going to be scents in the tunnel, uh, five randomized scents to be specific, um, and it says for flavors like watermelon or green apple. And then there'll also be different uh, music lights um, inside of this tunnel. And when it comes to mu uh, to lights specifically, I actually wonder if we're going to be looking at a whole lighting package on this. And I know this isn't really specified that there's going to be a lighting package for the whole ride, but if they're going ahead and retheming this whole thing, I would go ahead if I was Hershey Park and just put a nice lighting package on the whole thing. So I think it would be great to see a really nice lighting package around Jolly Rancher Remix. So overall, I think this whole retheme is going to be a really nice addition for 2022 to Hershey Park. And I think this is really going to be a nice bridge over to whatever Hershey Park's next big attraction is going to be. Now, this also asks two other questions, in my opinion. First of all, is Hershey Park going to start doing some more theming in the future? And two, will that more theming be theming rides to more Hershey's candy? It also asks the question, could we see Hershey Park going back and retheming more coasters that were previously named to non-Hershey's candy-related things? Coasters that come to mind, maybe uh, we could see Fahrenheit, possibly even Storm Runner. Of course, those are more ambitious um, repaint and retheme projects than this, but those are two of some of the main attractions at the park that are not themed to candy. And so really overall, I think this is going to be a great retheme as well as the addition of Mixed to the park. 
So tell me what you think about this in the comments below. I think this is really going to be a great thing to head out to Hershey Park for, not just to try um, out the rethemed Sidewinder, but also to try out this really unique flat ride that you can't find at a lot of places. So again, give me your thoughts to this down in the comments, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.